back highlighting the rich rodeo heritage here in the land of enchantment. The New Mexico State Fair and East Mountain Rodeo Association are partnering to bring back the New Mexico State Fair Junior Rodeo Ambassador Program for students 9th through 12th grade in the 2023-24 school year. This serves as the connection between agriculture exhibits and rodeo fans throughout the fair. We're joined this morning by East Mountain Rodeo Association Chairman Chris Morgan and the General Manager of Expo New Mexico, Dan Morning, to find out more. Good morning. Good morning. Good well, morning. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning, Dan. Oh, man. Love it. Welcome back. Absolutely. Um, tell us how this relationship came to be between the NMSF and Expo. Well, Chris has been an integral part of our fair for rodeo. He's our animal welfare officer for years now and makes sure and ensures that the animal safety is always in forefront, but has been involved in uh, not only ranch rodeo, which I'm very interested in, but the Rodeo Ambassador Program. This is a great program to introduce these young men and women from what they're doing at the fair year, you know, for the week uh, with their exhibits and their projects and come in to help us as the fair to interact with the general public and get them those skills that they need to go on through life. It's outstanding. And this is such a big draw when it comes to the fair. I know a couple years ago during the pandemic, this was something that a lot of people were really missing. Um, tell us a little bit about the program and, and what people can expect. Absolutely. So the cool thing about the program is we're going to take FFA and 4-H kids that are already out there doing exhibits, showing their animals, you know, actually participating in the fair. We're going to let them apply those skills that they've learned through all these organizations to go out to the rodeo arena and actually like interact with patrons and answer questions because there's a lot of folks that don't understand what the events are and, and maybe how, why and how we do things. So this is their chance to not only be able to present but educate the uh, population because that's what we're all about is education and making sure folks know what's going on. Now, Chris, what are you guys looking for when it comes to applicants? So applicants, just like I said, we're looking for 4-H FFA students that are going into freshmen through seniors. Uh, once they go through the application process, we'll have them come out, we'll do an interview process. They should be uh, entered in the fair into some exhibit. This can either be uh, photography all the way up to the livestock show. Once they're there, we'll vet them and then uh, they'll come out and start representing us. Now, Dan, how has this helped build the youth exhibitor state fair relationship? Well, that, that, that's a great question because what, what it does is it takes these young men and women and again, we bring them into the setting of the fair which they generally are more of just, you know, working on their projects and trying to show in, in their competitions and whatnot. And it gets them interacting with the general public. And again, as Chris said, education. You know, we're, we're introducing the new rodeo fan. A uh, perfect example of that was we had Sublime last year. Mm -hmm. There wasn't one person that came to see Sublime that was going, what is this rodeo thing? When they left, they're going, I need more of the rodeo. So that really sp uh, spurred us on to do some more education. And we're using these young men and women because they are the best of the best. They're outstanding. Chris, explain the New Mex Invitational Ranch Rodeo. All right, so the New Mexico Invitational Ranch Rodeo, this is giving us an opportunity to bring the best 10 teams, five from out of state, five from in our own state to come out and represent. So thanks to Expo New Mexico, we're putting up $10,000 for the winner, winning team. Um, this gives a chance to A, see what these guys do. Some of the ranches you're gonna see your may or may not be on a couple of television shows that you that folks may be watching but more importantly it's going to show the best of the best competing right here in tingley coliseum and we're seeing typical rodeo events no you're no, not it's no, a little no, different. no so a lot of these events are totally different you're going to th see things like uh, ranch bronc riding uh, trailer loading you're going to see what we call branding it's okay. just using chalk this is the animal welfare side of me they're using chalk uh, the one that everybody loves to see is the wild cow milking. So you're going to see Ooh. more of what these guys do Monday through Friday out on the ranch, but we're going to put it on full display during Expo New Mexico. Very fun. Looking forward to that. And if you guys want to check it all out, we will have all of the information on our website, always on krqe.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back.